In today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to push the limits of PowerPoint, where as soon as you click, you use the push transition to reveal something on the slide. But then once you click again, it sort of triggers and teases you for the next part that is coming, or you can click again and then push towards a next slide. You can do this from all directions, so you can push it from the top, reveal, and then once you click, it moves to the slide. So it's a really fun way to present, and it adds that dynamic element to your slide. In this case, we're using it for a retro car collection, where I really liked the pastel colors. This tutorial I've split up into multiple parts. First of all, we'll look at the image generation. So I'm going to show you the prompts that I use to generate the images. Secondly, we'll look at setting up the slides. Then we will look at adding that sort of teaser effect. And eventually we'll look at the animation part and the push transition. If you want to save some time and effort while making presentations, I also make fully made templates available that you can download via the link in the description below. And for the first part of the tutorial, we'll look at generating the images. I'm using the prompt a retro old Fiat 500 style car. It doesn't have to exist in pastel colors with a pastel background. And this way you can adjust the prompt for whichever color that you like. And then I'm going to generate the images. And that gave us this result with these three nice images. I made a variation for the pink, blue and orange. Once we have the images, we download them in high resolution and we jump into PowerPoint. And once we're in PowerPoint, I'm just going to add the images to the screen. And this is the basis of what we'll work with. Let's start with duplicating this slide three times. And we're going to create a one for the pink. Let's put that up front, put it in the center. And let's go for the orange one second. And then the blue one. So I'm just going to rearrange the slides so that I have a clear palette to work with. First, we'll start with the pink part. Then we go to orange, then we go to blue. And here we want to change the background of the pink part. So let's start with the pink one first. Right click on the canvas, format background. And here we want to change the color picker and grab that color picker icon, select the pink and press OK. And here we can see the top looks quite nice, but the bottom is a bit darker in the image. So we can adjust that by clicking the image, go to soft edges, and then increase the size of the soft edges. Not too much, so it doesn't cut into the car, but just slightly, so that it becomes less visible and a bit blurry, and that's what we want. You can always right-click, crop the image, and adjust the crop marks of that darker part if you want. And this way, it already looks a lot better if we add it to the slide. Now let's do the same for the others. So let's go to the second slide. You want to select the background, format, more colors, and choose the color picker for the orange. Same thing here, but this one already looks quite good. You can give it a soft edge so that it blends in nicely. Let's crop it a bit and then increase it in size so that it's about the same size as the other car. It doesn't have to be perfectly the same size, but if it looks about the same, that's good. And then for the third one, you want to go for the color picker again. And here we can see there's a very light top and a dark bottom. So I'm going to go for somewhere in between in the middle. See if that works. And then we're going to give it a soft edge here as well. And you can see it already blends in nicer. And it looks a lot better if you ask me. Reduce the crop marks so that it fits the car better. And increase the entire picture. I think we can use the crop marks here at the bottom a bit more and then increase it and place it in the center. So this is already the starting point of the presentation. Now let's have a look at how we can add this connection and the transition part of the slide. So for that, we're looking towards the color of the next slide. So we can see on the first slide, let me increase this. First slide, we have pink, then we have orange. So we want to have this orange effect on the side. We want to have that spillover effect. So we go to shapes, rectangle, and drag it on the right side of the slide. You can use any side of the slide that doesn't matter, top or bottom. Go to shape fill and choose that orange color. We want to remove the outline so that there's no outline and it nicely blends in. I'm going to increase it just a bit more. And here we're going to add some text. So text box, drag some text. And for example, the first slide, we talk about the pink color, then we can say, but there's more. Dot, dot, dot. Let's change the font to something more narrow. I'm using Bebas Noya and increase it in size. 
make it bold and let's give it some more space here place it in the center and we can see that the dark or the black font is quite harsh so if we want to change that you can either go for the pink color but i think in this case it's very hard to read so we want to go for something darker so go for the orange more colors and then drag it towards the right so we have a darker tone of that orange maybe more towards the red and i think this already blends in nicer it's the same style like the pastel color it really blends in nicely and what we can also do here is maybe if we reduce it in size just a bit shift it over then we can add a little arrow here so i'm going to shapes and then insert an arrow drag it on the slide and let's give it that same color. So we give it that dark brown color and no outline. There we go. I think that looks quite good. Let's position it every day in the center. And also this, let's position it in the center here and group those things together. So group control G to group together and hold shift to select that box as well and control G again to also group this together. This way on the slide, we have this box acting as one. Now we go to the animation part and we want to have a fly in effect, but from the right. So it sort of slides in, that's what we want. We can open the animation pane and here we can see we have that grouped item sliding in. Let's make sure that everything looks nice. So a smooth end would be good. Duration, I think, Let's make it a bit slower, so 0 0.75. And it has to happen on a click, and that is good. If we don't have the box, the car is perfectly centered. But if we add that box, the car is a bit to the right, so it's, it's not balanced anymore. So ideally, we want to have the car move forward so that everything stays balanced on the slide. So that's what we're going to add now. We select the car, go to Path Animation and Line. This way it shifts down, that's not what we want. But we can see the green point is the starting point and the red point is the ending point. So we want to drag that upwards so it's on the same height and then move that one slightly forward so that everything remains in the center and nicely balanced. We want that to happen not on a click, but we want it so it's the same as the first one. And then we want it to start with previous. So let's already preview what this looks like. So we have the nice car on the slide and as soon as we click we have that extra thing pop up on the side and the car move the speed was a bit off so i'm going to adjust the speed we can see that the group part is 0 0.75 seconds and the picture it's on two seconds so let's put that on the same 0 0.75 so everything moves at once and let's preview that again and now as soon as we click everything moves nicely and that is what we want we're going to repeat this one more time for the next slide. So I'm going to copy this grouped part and I'm going to paste it on the previous or on the next slide. Now, of course, we want to select the rectangle here and adjust it so that it's on the top. Let's give it a different color shape format and give it that blue color from the next slide. And of course, we also have to adjust the text here. So drag that one up to the top. It can remain in the selection, so that is nice. So the grouped selection, we don't have to ungroup it. We can just keep everything as it is and just move the selections in the grouped part around. Let's drag it down, position everything nicely in the center. And then of course the text, it can change. Let's say, wait until you see what's next. And then we increase it. Let's center it in the middle, go to home, center. And now this color looks a bit weird with the blue. So I'm going to do the same and select that original blue, the same as the background. Go to more colors and drag that one to the right to make it darker. This way it's the same tone, but a bit darker. Change the color of that shape fill so that it nicely matches. And now, of course, we have to select that grouped item, go to animations, open up the animation pane. And here there's a few things we need to change. So we have that grouped item. 
But of course, now it flies in from the right, and we don't want that. We want to fly this one in from the top. So from top, that's what we want. The timing can remain the same, and we have to do the same for the image. So path animation, line, and this one already shifts down, so that's what we want. But maybe not that much. We're going to shift it down just a bit, and then change the timing also to 0 0.75. Smooth start, we don't want that, we just want a smooth end. And let's preview what this light looks like. Oh, I see I forgot the trigger animation, so not on click, but with previous. And then let's preview what that looks like. So the second slide, now as soon as we click, we have that top bar dropping down, pushing the image down, and that looks quite good. So that means we now have the basic animations covered. Let's do the finishing touches at the beginning and end slide and then look at the transitions. So for the beginning slide, I'm going to add a new slide up front, go to home, and the layout can be blank, format background, and I'm going to make this the dark pink, or the same pink as the second slide here from the pink car, and let's add a title. So for that, I'm going to add a text box, call it retro, and for the fonts, I'm going to use this bushery block give it a pink color and again more colors make it darker center it in the middle and let's try font size 150 maybe a few ticks larger make it bold and center it in the middle of the slide i think the font is a bit too dark so i'm going to go for more colors and reduce that i think this looks a bit softer and that's better hold Control shift to create a copy or option shift on a mac Reduce the font size and let's make a sub font. Let's type in car collection and place it underneath. So that is the first slide. Let's duplicate this and drag it to the bottom, all the way to the bottom. And this one, we're going to make it blue and the fonts, we're going to make it that darker or give it that darker tint. Of course, here we want to give it a different name. So for example, push, and let's say the limits of PowerPoint. So now we have all our slides made. Now let's look at the transitions. The good thing is we can use a push transition for all of them. So we're going to select all of the slides, select the first one, hold shift, select the last one, transition, push. And now of course we need to adjust the direction. So we go to the first one, this one we don't need to change, it's the opening slide. So we could, in theory, have no transition here. Second slide, this has to come in from the right. So we change the effect options to from right. And this way we connect the first slide with the second one. The second slide, this one, has to come from the right as well. So we go, we have this orange part here and we push from the right to reveal the slide. So we're going effect options from right. And now we have a different one because we push from the bottom. We want to go from slide three to try, from slide three to slide four. We want to have it appear from the top and sort of push the orange car down. So for that, we select slide four, effect options, and that is from top. And this way we push it down. And now, of course, the final slide, this one has to come from the right. In theory, it, come from, it could come from any direction. Let me just preview that. So if we do from left, that could work. If we do from right, that could work because the colors are the same. Or from the top, that also works. I'm going to go for from right, just for some consistency. Now, all of the transitions, they come in quite fast. So I'm going to select all of the slides again and set the duration to two seconds. And now let's preview what we have. And this is how you can make this really cool retro slide for a car collection where you use the push transition to sort of reveal something coming up and then connect it to the next part of your presentation. You can do it from all slides, so for example from the top, and then push the car downwards to reveal a new one. And at the end you can push it towards the thank you slide or a closing slide of your presentation. Thanks a lot for watching and if you want to learn more about PowerPoint transitions and animations, make sure to drop a follow and watch the video on the screen right now.